Welcome to section one of the parasites. This is our overview figure showing the parasites that you need to know for step one. In this lecture, we will be talking about the first protozoa that infects the GI tract, Giardia lamblia, which you can see right here. Our Giardia story takes place in a little area where a young girl likes to keep watch over her lambs. Unfortunately, people have started to infiltrate the area and now eat the lambs. In an effort to save her little flock, she's taking her lambs and adopting them out. You can even see she made a sign right here advertising her cause. Guard a lamb. Guard a lamb sounds like Giardia lamblia. Like any pet, lambs will poop a lot unless you direct them toward a certain area. The girl has directed her lambs to poop right here in this big pile. You can even see this little lamb is just finished up. If you look closely at this big pile of poop, you can see these little cysts. This represents the Giardia cysts that are present in the stool. Here is a microscopic image of one of the Giardia cysts. You can see that this cyst has two distinct nuclei. Now being able to recognize Giardia cysts is important to remember, so don't gloss over this image. So again, cysts in the poo pile for cysts in the stool. Now look at these two guys waiting in the river. In the past, these guys have come to the river to drink the water. Not a great idea now that all this poop is spilling downstream and contaminating it. You can see that one man has a cup of water and is inspecting it. The other man to the left has taken a swig and spit it out in disgust. I guess it tasted just like you'd imagine. This represents the fact that cysts from stool will infect water. When ingested, people will get a Giardia infection. So again, drinking water with poo cysts stands for fecal oral transmission. As you can see, the little cysts have developed into these full-blown parasites. Look at those swimming downstream. They love this nasty poo water. They even flow into the drinking trough of these little lambs over here. This trough holds the water that the lambs usually drink from, but now it's totally contaminated. Well, these little parasites flowing into the trough represent trophozoites. Well, trough sounds like trophozoites, and cysts will develop into trophozoites within the intestines. Now here is Giardia in its trophozoite form. It's often described as a pear-shaped flagellated protozoa. Being able to recognize the appearance of Giardia trophozoites is high yield, so commit this to memory. Now look at this guy here. Using his net, he's standing in the poo-filled river to catch some fish to eat. Instead of fish, he actually caught some of these nasty pusses and those freaky blue trophozoites. The poor guy can't eat those, but this idea will help you remember that Giardia is diagnosed by examining the stool. If you identify either a cyst or a trophozoite in the patient's stool sample, Giardia is confirmed. And so you're aware, the name of this test is called an ONP, which stands for ova and parasite. Ova refers to the egg of the parasite. In the case of Giardia, the laboratory technician is not searching for an egg or ova. Instead, the technician is searching for the parasite itself, which can be in one of two forms, the cyst form or the trophozoite form. Don't get wrapped up in the name of the test, just know that you're supposed to examine the stool. So again, the man catching these parasites in the poopy river stands for stool examination for diagnosis. Now let's move on to some of the symptoms of Giardia. Looking back at the river, notice that downstream of the poo pile, the river is this poopy brown diarrhea color. This represents the fact that Giardia infections cause diarrhea. Now we can see this camper back here to the left. This is where our unfortunate river drinkers came from. They came to camp. Well, this camper represents the fact that Giardia is common in campers and hikers. Campers and hikers need to be careful to not drink natural water without first boiling it. Otherwise, they can get that nasty diarrhea. Speaking of nasty diarrhea, look at those stink lines emanating from the poo in the river. It's so smelly that you can see it. These stink lines represent the fact that diarrhea in these patients is foul smelling. I guess diarrhea usually doesn't smell great, but this isn't like your typical diarrhea. Giardia is especially foul smelling. Now notice all these other campers who have eaten these poor little lambs. I guess it was really important for this girl to start her guard a lamb adoption program after all. Fortunately, we can see these two fellas are paying for their crimes. This guy is grabbing his belly in agony. This represents the abdominal pain that Giardia can cause. And this guy on the far left ate most of the lambs, so he's especially bloated. Look at his belly poking out under his shirt. Totally bloated. This represents the bloating that Giardia can cause. Now look at this passenger. He looks like he's a protein drink distributor. He's ripped and his shirt says protein on it. All those containers below him contain protein drinks. Seeing the thoughtless campers devouring this girl's helpless lambs, this protein drink distributor threw some of his merchandise to hit the campers. The protein drinks represent protozoa. Giardia is one of the protozoan parasites. So protein, protozoa. Now in the beginning of the story, we saw how this kind fellow was adopting this lamb over to the right to rescue it from being eaten, and he's traveling by way of a metro. This metro represents metronidazole, which is a good treatment for Giardia infections. Now that we've covered all the items in the image, let's do a question to apply what you've learned. A 23-year-old female presents to the clinic with abdominal pain for two weeks. She explains that her symptoms began shortly after returning from a short camping trip near a lake. She denies intentionally drinking any of the lake water, but admits she accidentally swallowed quite a bit one time while swimming. The physician orders an ova and parasite examination, O and P, of the stool. 
the laboratory confirms the presence of several pear-shaped flagellated trophozoites. Based on the likely pathogen, which of the following is the patient most likely to experience at some point during her infection? A. A short period of vomiting. B. Blood in the stool. C. Repeated bouts of loose stools. Or D. Painful headaches. Hopefully from the question stem, you saw that this describes Giardia lamblia. The girl has abdominal pain, and she went camping, and accidentally drank lake water. And finally, an O&P exam of her stool revealed pear-shaped flagellated trophozoites. So believing that this is Giardia, which of the options is the patient most likely to experience? The answer is C, repeated bouts of loose stools. This is just another way of describing diarrhea. Remember that dirty poo river? It stands for diarrhea. Now choice A is wrong because vomiting is not likely with a Giardia infection, especially compared to diarrhea, choice C. And choice B is wrong because Giardia does not cause intestinal bleeding which is what this answer choice is describing. And finally, choice D is wrong because Giardia is not known to cause painful headaches. And that's all you need to know about Giardia.